Hi guys, Scorn here, and welcome to My Summer Car. What on earth is My Summer Car? Well, My Summer Car is a, an indie game. It's an early access game, apparently built by one guy, a Finnish guy, who has built... Um, <laughs> I don't know how to describe this game. It's kind of like you, you build your own car from pieces, tiny pieces. It takes a long time. It took me like three to four hours to build my first car. And, uh, and you, stay, you survive by doing menial jobs for people. This game is not for the faint-hearted, and I will point out that this game is rated 18, okay? It's rated 18. Uh, there are... Uh, sw there's Finnish swearing in it. You can put the flip the bird at people. Uh, there's urinating. Uh, there's there's death. You know, there's all kinds of stuff in this game. It's an 18 game. It's uh, Just be aware of that. I, I myself won't be swearing in the game when I play it, but there is swearing in Finnish, so be aware of this. Uh, you have been warned, if you're watching with your grandkids or whatever, this is an 18-rated game. Uh, personally, I think it should be a teen game, but then again, I, you know, you can drink alcohol and drive, so I'm guessing that puts it over into an 18. Anyway, let's start a new game, and I'll explain what's going on. First thing we need to do is think of our name, uh, last name, first name, and whether we want permadeath. Uh, I'm definitely going to turn permadeath off. Uh, you can also put a picture here. If you, if you take a mugshot, you can put it in here, so I'm just going to think of a... Uh, uh, let's think of the squirrel, something like that. Uh, the squirrel. Sound like the stig. Uh, let's begin, and I'll show you around. Now, the top left of the screen, when we spawn in, you're going to see a bunch of statistics, um, such as your urine level, your hunger, your thirst, your fatigue, your dirtiness, and importantly, your money, and that it's Sunday. So here we are. Um, we are in our kitchen. We have a case of beer and some sausages. Not required to do so, but we're going to put the sausages... Now, I'm going to crouch like that. We're going to put the sausages in the fridge. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Uh, we're just going to put that in there. Bit of RP, really. It won't make any difference to the beer. Let's get in there like that. And it sounds like a thunderstorm. Let's take you through this room. I'll show you around the house first. Um... This is a weird room. I, I guess it's just some storage room. You could put all your stuff in here, I guess, is what that's for. Uh, this is the, the washing room. There's nothing to be done in here. Going on through... Let's put the light on. Going on through to the shower room. Um, you'd think you could shower in here, but because this is finished, the only way to clean yourself in this game uh, is, to, is to take a sauna. And I'll show you more of that later as well. But what I'm going to do for now is put the sauna on like that. There we go. So that takes a while to warm up, and you can see the temperature here. And yes, that is a, a temperature indicated by a willy type thing. So it's on 30 at the moment. It is in Celsius, I think, because it's finished. Uh, you want it to be up here before you can actually have a sauna. So we'll just leave that. We'll shut the door. We, we're going to use that later. The dirtiness indicator, as you can see, is showing we're not dirty at all. Uh, the As you get more and more dirty, you'll hear more and more mosquitoes. And it's one of the many things in the game that tries to annoy you. Uh, you can put the tap on and take a drink. If you press the Q key like that, you can lean over. You see my drink, my thirst level came down. So you can drink water, you can drink beer. Drink beer, you get um, obviously tipsy. Drink too much of it, you start to get very, very tipsy. And if you're driving a vehicle and the police stop you, you're in trouble. Oh, there's an Xmas present. Yay! Because it's Christmas. Let's open it. Uh, let's pick it up. Put it on there. Let's open our present, which is the F key, I think. There we go. What have we got? We've got random money, gift money, some Christmas lights, and a bottle of booze. Now, I'm not going to take that booze because I know what it does. It's insanely strong. Like, it will send the camera swirling away. I'll show you that some other time. This we can put on our car when we build it. And this, let's open this and see what we get. Can we open that? Come on, game. Okay, apparently I can't open it. Why can't I open the money? Pressing the F key. Well, I just threw it across the room. Not good, not good. Uh, okay. 
I'll figure that one out later. Not really sure why we can't do that. Uh, if we go through to here, I made the big, big mistake once of thinking that this is how we go to sleep. This is, in fact, your parents' bedroom. This is the weird thing about this game. There's another storage room there. This is your parents' bedroom. The, the whole premise of this game is that uh, your parents have gone away, and this is your summer in the house by yourself. You're, you're effectively, uh, you know, 18 years old or whatever, and uh, you live with your parents. This is the bathroom. This is where you urinate. Uh, and you build your own car during the summer, and you have a lot of fun. This is the world map. Let me let me show you urinating. So look away if you don't want to see this. You hold down the P key, funnily enough, and showing up. Look at your urine bar at the top left. You see that going down? So, yeah. Now, obviously, this is where you're meant to urinate, um, but you don't have to. You can, <laughs> you can urinate on the shower. Yes, you can. And uh, it will evaporate urine at you, and you'll get dirty. The kind of things that you can do in this game. That tap doesn't work. Uh, does the light switch actually work in here? Yeah, it does. Um, this is how you save. The only way to save in this game is to go to a toilet. Either this one or one of the many public ones. You may be thinking this game looks very strange. And why the heck am I playing this? But trust me. Trust me on this. When we get to the car building, your mind will be blown if you've never seen this. Uh, this is the car parts catalogue. This is where we order things. Uh, we can order seat covers. Uh, when we get the money, we can order these subwoofers. And yes, you have to fit them all in your car. Now, the really weird thing is, because this game is set in the 90s, this magazine here, if you want to order something, you, you click on this, click what you want, create the order, it will give you an envelope. You then have to drive it to the post office and send it off. It's all mail order. Uh, it's all mail order stuff. And then in a few days' time, your equipment will be sent in a box to the post office and you have to go and collect it. It's 90s. There's no, there's no internet ordering at this point. Uh, this is how we can turn the radio on and off, by the way, in case you want to play with the radio. Actually, I think I might not do that. Just because of VOD music reasons. Uh, I'm not sure what music it plays. I think it's like a local thing. So maybe it wouldn't get VOD muted. We've got a basketball. Uh, nothing there. Not sure what that's all about. There are some characters in the game as well, some NPCs. Uh, this is the phone. This will ring randomly, and you'll get jobs. This is how we earn money. So here is the map. Let me try and show you around the map a little bit. This uh, You live by a lake, so we are... Let's see, go down the road. We are uh, here. That building there, you see where my dot is? We are here. And just over here is a barn. There are some vehicles. I'll show you around those in a second. Uh, we live, this is like a dirt track road, we live on a lake, there is a boat here that you can take. That's the town where the shop is and the gas station is, so you need to go here for fuel. Uh, over here is Lop, this is where there's a mechanic, this is where you can get cars fixed up uh, and tuned, that kind of thing, because when you build a car, uh, because it's all car carburetor based, you have to go and get the carburetor tuned properly, you can do it yourself or you can take it to the mechanic and get it tuned. And then there are various houses where people live, you can go and do jobs for them. Um, not been to this bit yet, but, you know, one of the things you can do, the end game at the moment, because this is early access, to build a car that's a rally car, and then take it rallying around the dirt tracks, uh, and try not to get caught. There are crazy AI people in the game going around in super fast cars, and it's all too easy to die in this game in very, very interesting ways. Uh, one way, for example, is if there's a thunderstorm and you answer the phone, you'll get electrocuted by the thunderstorm. Uh, another one is just die in a simple car crash, uh, which I've done. And then you can fall down sewer pits and all this kind of thing. So this is this is the shell of the car that we will build. Um, this is it right here. You can see it has nothing, not even an engine, just nothing at all. And this is our garage. This is where all the parts are. And when I say all the parts, you know, I mean all the parts. Uh, everything from the trail arms, the drum brakes, the shock absorbers, the struts, look at this, the springs, the half shafts, wishbones, spindles, and that's just the parts on the, on the actual car, on the actual body. I mean, when you go over here, this is your engine. I mean, so, look, here's the pistons, here's the spark plugs, this is the cylinder head, the, the oil pan or the stump, that's the engine block. This is what, you know, when we build the engine, this is what we're going to be doing. We are going to be building it like this from scratch. This is our toolbox, and we're going to use this. We're going to have to pick the right spanner or wrench, depending on what you want to call it, uh, the right size for the right bolts for the right parts. 
trust me, it's mega tedious. But let me tell you something. When you build your car, uh, which we'll do, but not today, when we build our car, and you turn it over and you drive it for the first time, the, f the feeling is indescribable because you will sweat blood and tears to build a car. There's a basketball hoop. Let me, this is a van, by the way, as you can see. Uh, you can drive this. This is one of the vehicles that you get to kind of move around the game and get things. In fact, we should probably take a trip if we can. I'm not sure if we're going to get hit by a thunderstorm. We should probably go to the shop and get some supplies um, is the first thing we should do. In fact, let's do that now. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get hit by the weather. Now we clamber in like this. This is based This is based on a, a Toyota Hiace from the 90s. Uh, so what we need to do is it's diesel. So we need to click this. And this light here is the coil light. So because it's diesel, we have to wait for the ignition coils uh, to warm up before we try and crank the engine. But this is how we're going to get stuff. We're going to go shopping because we need to get some stuff to... Uh, to survive him. We've only got a very basic amount of food at the moment, and the only way to get it is to go to the shop, so let's... There you go, crank it over. We have to slam the door like that. Now, I'm using my G27, G27 wheel. Um, let's just put that handbrake in. Uh, you can see bottom right it says N. If I press my clutch and move my H shifter forward, I've got access to all four gears. Yes, all four gears. Um, let's turn that on. Let's see if we can get anything here. The radio stations are weird. There you go. What was that? There we go. So he just talks away and finish. Uh, let's put some side lights on. You have to give the engine a few revs to get going. Now, I don't know if you can remember the map. You may be able to remember the map. Uh, this is the dirt track that we live on. And what I'm going to do... Oh, there's the sewage. Let me just stop a second. Over there is the sewage vehicle. That's how we um, do a work. We, we can go to people's houses and empty the septic tank. And then over there is a tractor with a trailer. We can chop up some wood. And um, that's another way of earning money. They're the two main ways of earning money in the game at the moment. And you're going to need quite a bit of money. Not just for food and drink, but for parts for your car. Uh, tuning services, uh, all that kind of thing. When we do build a car, we need to get a license as well before we can actually upgrade it to a rally car, which is ultimately where we want to go. But if I was to lose control. This is quite top heavy this van. If I was to lose control in a ditch, then you know, there's no AA recovery, RAC. There's nobody going to come and get me. I'm going to have to go back in one of my vehicles and come here and tow it, either with a tractor or with the sewage truck. Right, let's get some speed going here. The dials you can see are actually accurately working. The, the engine temperature is simulated. The fuel level is on half at the moment. I should have brought with me, I've just thought now, I should have brought with me the gasoline tank. Um, because we will need fuel when we build a car, but that's no big deal for now. I'm more worried about food and just showing you around today. And not dying, hopefully. And when we get to the end of the road, we'll have a choice. So we either turn right and go down the dirt track, which is particularly interesting, or we can turn left and make our way to the highway, which is faster but contains not just police, which you need to be careful of in case we're driving drunk, uh, but very, very fast, crazy Finnish teenage drivers who will try to kill us. And right now, everything we've done has not been saved. Because the only way to save it is when you get the toilet. So, you can see there's like suspension, there's proper physics going on. It's uh, it's a full-blown simulator. I am indicating. Now, there is one crazy Finnish driver in a green vehicle who often comes down this road, so we need to be careful. So I'm going to go left. It's a lop. Turn that off. 
Driving too slow is as dangerous as driving too quickly in this game. Because if you drive too slow, then you'll often get hit by an AI car. Drive too quick, and you'll often lose it. I'm going to go to the highway, and then I'm going to turn left and go anti-clockwise. If you think, if you try and picture the map that I showed you, it's essentially a circuit. I'm going to go anti-clockwise to lop. And hopefully we can get back before nightfall. Because driving at night in this is not fun. Right. Here's a junction. If we turn right, it will take us down to the highway. Now, there's no windscreen wipers on this, which is a bit annoying. Definitely something you should implement, I think. Okay, I'm going to slow right down. Because they do absolutely fly down here. That little hut you saw with the red roof is a nice waypoint. Something to look out for to know when to turn. Oh, and the other thing is, you know, if you over rev your engine, you can blow the head gasket off. If you don't put coolant in, it'll overheat, it'll set fire. It's all simulated. If the, When you build a car, if there's just one nut that you don't put in, or you forget to tighten properly, the engine falls apart. The very first engine I built, I started it up, and I thought I'd done really well because the engine started, and then I could start to hear a bit of a clank. Uh, and then I put it in reverse. I reversed back three meters. And then my engine stopped. And something fell on the floor underneath my engine. And it was the uh, the main bearing. Uh, the main bearing bracket had fallen off. <laughs> so basically work out what had gone wrong. But essentially I hadn't tightened the nut up. 100%. And the bolt would then wear loose. And the main bearing fell off. And then the engine just stopped. I think it's going to rain. You know it's going a bit dark. Okay here's one of the... He's a normal driver. If you see a bright red or a bright green vehicle, you'll often hear the boonch, boonch, boonch kind of music. Just get the heck out of the way because they often don't drive on the right side of the road. Just need to be careful here. I'm going a bit quick. Also, the police can get you for speeding, so need to be a bit careful here because I think I'm doing 100. Uh, that, I think, is the turning for the mechanic. Also, watch your mirrors as well if you're going to play this game. If you do play this game, or you're thinking about buying it though, when you've watched this series, just bear in mind that this game will test you like you've never been tested. Because whilst you're... What the heck is this? Oh my god, it's a truck. Whilst you're building your, your vehicle and you're getting frustrated by the bolts and the spanners, You'll have mosquitoes buzzing around. At night, you'll have a dog barking. You'll have a, uh, a cuckoo going, cuckoo, cuckoo, just constantly trying your patience. Now, I wish I had some power. Look, the game is just basically tempting me to overtake this guy. But at the same time, I am risking death right now. Okay, we made it. Blimey. Risky move. Yeah, and also, if you do die in a crash, if you have permadeath turned off, uh, you'll spawn back at your house, but your vehicle will be, Like, if I cry crashed here, my vehicle would be here in pieces. And I'll have to come and tow it away and fix it all up again, and it's... Oh, the setback is real. But as you can see, it's all about low emissions. <laughs> it's all about, you know... It's not. It's carburetor engines, there's diesel everywhere. It's hilarious, this game. And that thunderstorm, if that comes in, it's not going to be fun. My hunger level's going up now. You see my, my fatigue level's going up? Now, you can't... You know, it's very hard to die of dirtiness, for example, or even fatigue. You know, you can, you can be very, very tired for quite a while before you die, but thirst and hunger, uh, you need to keep on top of that stuff. And then, what does this sign say? Oh, I 
you can't read it. I think it was the, the village sign. I think we're here. I'm not used to coming at it this way. I think this is the village. Uh, what does that say? Pelorav Javi. Um, I th think this is right. I can't remember the name of the town. Let's find out. Yeah, there's a village sign. So hopefully this is the main village. Yep, it looks like it. Right, so we could, for example, fill up with diesel. Okay, let's slow down. Let's put the parking brake on and turn the engine lights off. Um, okay, I need to turn my lights off. A little car controls. Uh, let's see. Clutch, handbrake, throttle. High beam is joystick button 16. The thing is, that doesn't actually turn off the lights, see? It just toggles high beam. The actual switch for it will be here somewhere. There you go. Okay, parking brakes on. We're in neutral. Let's turn off the radio. And exit drive it mode. And we'll get out. Yeah, so the weather has gone a bit rip. This guy here, um, <laughs> we can really annoy him if you want to. Watch this. So that gets him a bit crazy. And uh, yeah, we need to just get out of his way because uh, if he hits us, <laughs> if he hits us, it's not good. Anyway, we'll leave him alone. So, this stuff here, we will need to build our car. Uh, I'm not going to buy all this stuff just yet. I will buy that, though. We're going to need various amounts of these things to build the car, so we'll have to come back, and we'll need fuel anyway, so it's no biggie. This is where we can get mosquito spray if the mosquitoes really start to annoy us. Uh, a lot of this stuff isn't actually implemented yet, um, but there is some things that you can buy that you can't use properly, such as, where is it? Juice concentrate doesn't do anything yet. Um, is it yeast or something's coming? I think the idea is the guy's going to let you brew your own beer. That's really where I think it's all going. But what we can do is buy some food. So we'll have four bags of chips. We'll have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six sausages. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You can't buy them. And then some beer. We'll have one two crates of beer milk doesn't really do a terrible amount we'll just drink water or beer uh, that's basically it nothing else really matters right now uh, that's 893 you can see the expense is real already uh, so we'll just buy that because we need to earn some money so we we'll just take our bag of stuff we'll have to come back for our beer that guy stuck himself on a post look hilarious so we'll just pop that in the back as soon as we open this bag, uh, the contents will just pour out. Also be aware, if you ever save the game, when you come back in, if you've got a bag, it'll just instantly open. It's really annoying. The shop is only open from the daytime. If we was to come back here uh, later on, what happens is there's a bar next door. And this guy shuts up shop in, in the day, and then at nighttime, he's basically a bartender. So it's a shop uh, and also a bar, which I can sh quickly show you. Uh, what you do is you walk through here. Uh, this is this is the, this is the way he takes. You see, and then in the nighttime you'll have people in here getting drunk, and you can buy beers and stuff, and you can gamble. In the daytime he'll be over here, uh, and you can buy beers. Also, you can you can fill up with fuel and drive off. You can do that, but the game, like the police, will be after you essentially. Let's have a quick go with this. Let's put one, two, three, four, five in there. Let's try our luck. Uh, let's hold those two. Panos, what does that mean? No, let's cancel. Oh, yeah! That is the, the first time. That is the first time I've ever won anything in this. Wow. Did it actually just add that to my... 
Where did that money go? Honestly, I've never won anything on this. That was the first time. I'll run out of money. No. I didn't pay attention to the money the situation. I don't know if we got more money. Okay. Right, forget about that. Forget about that. Right, let's shut this guy's door. Uh, there is a toilet around the back here that we can use to save the game. Uh, here, just be aware of that. You can click on that and save it, but it will always throw you back to the menu. It's the annoying thing. It will throw you back to the menu. And then this bag in the back of the van will just explode in the back, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to drive back. Main thing is, that's helped to get the basic supplies in place. So, hopefully, the engine has now stayed warm. Yep, so the coal's on, coal light's not on. Uh, parking brake can go in. And the lights can go on. And we'll leave him in pieces. We'll go out the way we came. There's more than one way to get here. The dirt track is equally fun, but quite dangerous. There are some warehouses as well. Like, if you go down the dirt track, there are some um, barns and stuff. And if you take a sledgehammer, there's a, we have a sledgehammer back at the... Why is he stopped? Okay, there you go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm just going to get out of here right now. Wait, did you see that? If one of those guys was to hit me, we would instantly die. And those two hit each other, they are utterly crazy. The highway is a quick and dangerous place. The dirt track is far less dangerous, but you can easily topple your car over and die in a tree. Remember I said to you the game tries you? Big time. Okay, we're being overtaken. Just get out the way. When we get ourselves a fast car, maybe we'll do something more aggressive. But people absolutely hammer it down here. I would love to know what he's got planned for this game. Because what he's, what he's built is actually pretty interesting. You know, he could equally do a My Summer Tractor, or My Summer Truck, or all kinds of things. So this guy overtook me and then... And then seemed to slow down, bizarrely. Okay. That was probably a crazy move on my part, but we'll see what happens. I think staying at 100 should, should hopefully keep us out of most trouble. Although I'm not sure the speed limit's 100 down here. I'm looking for the turn. There should be a turn. And then we look for that red barn. And then that will be a turn back into uh, our place. But yeah, if we get a sledgehammer, which is back at the, at the barn in our place, we can use that to smash into other barns and steal vehicles. So that's something else you can do in the game. But really, it's, it's basically about assembling a vehicle. That's really what it's about. But in order to do that, we're going to need money. And to get the money, we're going to need um, to do some jobs. So this has been this episode really has been about showing you around the game, buying the food, and getting the supplies ready. Because we want to be able to stay at our base and take food with us and not worry about that kind of thing. Uh, the second thing we need to do is get some jobs. To get jobs, we're going to have to wait for the phone to call. When the phone rings, we'll get work. Um... Wasn't there, I don't think. That goes to the mechanic. Yeah, that goes to the mechanic, that one. So if you think about the map, we're roughly about one or two o'clock on a clock face is where we are right now. There is a map. If you go to Steam and go to the community hub, there is a map that you can get. Um, somebody took a screenshot of it, and that really, really helps. First time I played this, I had no idea where I was going. But yeah, we should get back for night, nightfall. 
Because it does get really, really dark at night. But yeah, one of the things the game allows you to do is to just take a boat across the town and then just drink yourself into oblivion and then, and then try to drive the, the boat back again in the dark and not get lost. But you can get yourself in a lot of trouble. So far, so good. Uh, I do need to remember to put the fuel canisters in the back. The next time we come to the shop, it will be to um, get fuel and coolant and engine oil and all that stuff. Okay, there's the house. I'm going to start slowing down now. Be very careful when you break in in this thing. If you break way too hard, it'll skid out of control. Uh, and yes, I am speaking from experience. Cool. We got off the highway safely. That's a start. I'm going to go left. Just making sure that that green car's not around. Yeah, the guy in the green car, like every AI driver in this is pretty much reckless. It's just what level of reckless they are. You'll often drive down here and you'll find the guy in the green car upside down, you know, in his car against a tree because he's just lost it. Oh, it's so tricky. This road is so narrow. Right, there's a junction down here that we turn right and that will take us back to our house, or rather our parents' house. Which is this here. It's a lot easier to steer in this game with a wheel. Um, if you've got an Xbox controller, it helps, but not massively. you still got to it's still a bit too sensitive, in my opinion. But it's useful to have the extra buttons to map. But it's perfectly playable with keyboard. You just need to kind of tap steer it. Alright, we're going to get back, put the shopping away. And then... See, our fatigue level is, is just over halfway. Thirst we can fix with a drink of water. Hunger we can fix with some, like, food that we bought. Um, we don't need a shower desperately. It's kind of better if you can sleep through the night, because if you need to go out in the day... If you need to go out, you really want it to be daytime, because the shop opens then. Uh, so, but you can just work through the night on your car, and then sleep through the day. That's entirely possible. It's a bit of a hack down here. Okay, we're uh, starting to lose it now. And we're back. That's not our house, this is our house. Awesome. Well, that was a fairly successful run. Put the parking brake on. Did you hear the dog? The dog doesn't sound very significant at the moment. It's just a barking dog. But oh boy, when you're building your car and you're losing your cool, that dog <laughs> is going to absolutely wind you up. So yeah, let's have a beer. See the thirst bar going down? And you'll see him start to sway a little bit. See the sway now? <laughs> the more beer you have, the worse it gets. Right, I'm going to leave a crate of beer in the back. Because that way when we go travelling again, we've got something to drink. And I'm basically going to 
open that. I'm going to put this in here and then I'm going to open it. There we go. So it immediately throws everything everywhere. In theory, all this stuff should go in the fridge, but in reality, it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these things. Okay, let's answer the phone. It could be a job. I would like a flatbed load of firewood. Can you deliver any time? Now look, he's marked it on the map. And then he just basically rambles on in Finnish. Nobody knows what the heck he's saying. So you just put the phone down. Um, there. So what we did was we left. We drove down the dirt track. Remember the junction though? We turned left. We got to the crossroads and turned right. And then we got on the highway. We went all the way around. We went past Lop and we went all the way to here. And then we came back again like that. And we turned right. The house was there, the Red Hut house. We turned right there, left, and then right again. So this guy lives here. We need to chop firewood up, drive down the road with a, with a load of firewood and deliver it, and then he'll pay us handsomely. Uh, so that's good. We've got our first job. And um, what I want to do is just put that food into the back of the uh, van there. Because if we're out and about, I want to make sure we've got, you know, stuff to eat and drink. Now, the chips are great, but they do make you thirsty. So I'm going to make sure we've got some other stuff. Just basic emergency rations. There we go. We'll shut that. And let's see. We'll shut that. Let's have a bit of food. So we'll have one of these uh, pizza boxes. Watch the hunger bar. That took off a good chunk of hunger. And then we'll have a quick drink. Thirst bar comes down. Okay. Dirt tennis bar is going up. Fatigue bar is very high. It's not yet nightfall. So what I want to do is go and chop up a bit of firewood. Uh, we're going to need the torch maybe if it goes dark, so we'll carry that with us. Um, but yeah, we're going to chop a bit of firewood before we get completely and utterly tired. And then um, we'll deliver it and get some money. But that's it for this first video, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. My Summer Car. It's, uh, it's a very interesting game. It's going to get a lot better, trust me. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's it from me. Take care. Happy driving.